Okay, so we drew our network diagram last time. We identified our critical path. Now we're filling in our Gantt diagram. So I'm using Excel because it gives me a nice set of squares to work with. You would probably be doing this on paper. Okay, so I've got my task going down the side and notice I've got two of each task and I've got the days going across the top. And yours will be a proper scale. So yours will be zero, one, two, three, four on the line. Of course, because I'm doing mine on Excel, it doesn't quite work exactly the same, but you'll get the idea. So if I look at task A, it starts at zero and it goes to seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from zero to seven and I'm going to color that in. Now I'm going to color that in red because I know it's on my critical path. I'm also going to draw another one, even though I know what it's going to do to show you that I also draw a line for my latest time. So from zero to seven. So I'm going to do that with all of my tasks. So the first one, I'm going to go from zero to two because it's not a critical path. I'm going to do the earliest time in yellow and I'm going to do the latest time in green. Okay. So starts after five and finishes by seven. I'm also going to do the same with C. So that starts after zero and finishes at 15. And if I was doing it in the last one, it could start at 12 and finish by the time it's at 27. went one square too many because it was hidden behind the picture. Okay, so task D starts at 17 and finishes at 25. So task D starts at 17 and finishes at 25. And task D also, oh, sorry, that's a critical path, so I'm going to color it in red, and I know my second one is identical. Task E starts at 7 and finishes at 17. So task E starts at 7 and finishes at 17. And again, I know that's one of my critical paths. And task F starts at 25 and finishes at 27. So starts at 25 and finishes at 27. And again, I know that's a critical path. Task G starts at 17 and finishes at 22. So G starts at 17 and finishes at 22. You have to be really careful not to overshoot the mark. And therefore, the longer version, the late times, starts at 19 and finishes at 24. Task H, well, I think I've gone out of line there. So I'm just going to quickly move those back up. Got to be really careful with this. Task H starts at 22 and finishes at 30. And could start at 24 and finish at 32. Notice how all my lines have to be the same length. Task I starts at 27 and finishes at 29. Again, that's a critical path, so I'm going to do it twice. And task J starts at 29 and finishes at 32. So I have successfully filled in my Gantt chart. Right, at this point, I no longer need my diagram, so I'm going to ignore it. Okay, now, importantly, the lines that are duplicates, okay, aren't actually necessary. I could delete those. The other thing I'm going to now do is to get my finished Gantt chart is I'm going to draw all my critical paths in one line. So that is all task A, okay? And I'm going to color that so that I can tell it's task A and it's been dealt with. This is task E. This is task D. F got to write that that's task D. This is task I. I'm going to 
going to pull that one in and this is task J. Right, so those are my critical tasks and if anything goes wrong with those, I'm sunk, okay? Because I cannot complete my task in that time. I don't need any of these bits now, so I'm going to clear those away because I've dealt with those. So I'm left with, just going to get my headings back so I can delete these rows, I'm left with Got that wrong, so I'll start again. I'm left with task. B, C, G, and H. Now you can see I've had a look at this in the past and I've already worked out how I can fit those around to make them all fit into one task. So I could put task B from here straight in. I could move task C anywhere between this point and this point. So I've put it starting there and running along. Then task G and task H, I've got a week between the end of task C before they start, and then H funds. Now that means if anything delays task A, E, D, F, I, and J, my entire project's messed up. Whereas anything delays is task B, C, G, and H by anything more than two weeks, I can't complete because that's now going to become a new critical path. And this is the kind of thing you need to be looking out for. Also, you need to schedule when someone's going to come in. So if I was asked when could someone come in and see at least three tasks, in this one, there's never a chance because I only need to ever have two tasks going on at any one time. But if you couldn't quite fit it in, then you'd have to schedule a time when you could have three tasks going on at any time. But remember, that is the end of week four. So over here would be week five. And you've got to be careful about that part when we get to it. Okay, so that's a Gantt diagram.